afternoon. My name is Christine Hall and I am the online business manager and lead trainer with Christine Hall and Associates. I just finished a coaching call with one of my clients and our discussion today evolved around how to get better engagement from her fans and her Facebook followers. And one of the things that we all have to come to the conclusion with is it's, it's hard to get people to stop and to get people to engage with our business on Facebook. There's a lot of competition out there. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to share eight tips with you on how you could get higher uh, engagement on your Facebook posts. And I'd love to hear from you as to which one's your favorite, which ones you are going to try. So if you're listening to this live, welcome and thank you for joining us. Please pop your name into the comment section and let me know when you join. Feel free to ask any questions. So these are my favorite eight tips for higher engagement on your Facebook posts. Okay, so tip number one, we have to remember that even though we're using this tool for business purposes, that a majority of the users of the Facebook world are not using Facebook for business. They're using Facebook to socialize, okay? So we need to make sure that even though we're on our Facebook business page, that we actually socialize with people, that we are having fun. Okay, that does not mean be unprofessional. You can still be very professional on your business page. Just have some fun. Number two, my number two tip is be you, be authentic, speak with your own true voice. Don't speak with a corporate tone. Don't speak uh, like a robot or businessy, right? Uh, the other thing that you want to do is always be providing solutions to your ideal client, your customer's problems, be a solutions provider, all right? Tip number three, if you want your audience to engage with you, then you need to engage with them. And one of the easiest and fastest ways that you can engage with your audience is to ask questions. I recommend you, open, you ask open-ended questions, okay? Always ask a question. Even if you're just sharing a great motivational quote, Ask a question. How do you feel about that quote? Do you agree? Um, we want to elicit a response from them. We really want them to comment. Tip number four, use graphics and images to convey your message. So not just text, but use graphics and images. I love Canva for creating graphics. If you haven't used it before, go for it. It is a free graphic design program for non-graphic designers. You can go to canva.com, sign up for a free account, and get going uh, working away creating your own graphics. If you've logged in and you're not sure what to do and you feel a little bit confused or stuck, I do offer Canva training. So check out my events tab. Tip number five, you want to make sure that you're posting what your fans want to see. So I'm going to talk about right now uh, analytics. Every Facebook business page has analytics. And what you can do is you can go into the analytics page and you can take a look to see which one of your posts and your post type, whether it's text, video, links, which one of the post types, and then from the content, got the most likes, reactions, shares. Whichever one got the most likes, reactions, or shares, you want to post more of that. That's the kind of content that your audience likes, okay? So post more of the content they like by viewing your analytics on your Facebook business page. The other thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we are posting when our fans are actually online. Okay, again, if you go into your analytics page, you're going to be able to see when your fans are online and post then, not two hours before, not an hour after, you post when the majority of your online uh, fans and followers are there. Uh, it's the whale, okay? Take a look at that in analytics. Um, and then that was, post, that was tip number seven. Tip number eight is video. Video, 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 you've probably heard it before. You could use pre-recorded videos if you're afraid to go live, and the pre-recorded videos are around two to three minutes in length, or you could broadcast live like I'm doing today using Facebook Live Broadcasting. Uh, um, I highly recommend you give it a try, test it out, create yourself a little private group, test it out in your group, and see how it goes. 
Some people don't like to see themselves on camera, no problem. Point it away from you, point it at your hands, point it at your product. There's a lot of different things that you can do um, to go live without showing your face. Um, those are my eight tips. And I'm going to give you one more. One more. I'm going to give you a bonus tip here. You want to make sure that you're posting when your audience is online, right? I said that. It was tip number six. But if you're not online or around at four o'clock, maybe when your audience is, then schedule your posts. Facebook has a native scheduler. You can go in and you can schedule the date and time for your post. In fact, it's every Sunday, I sit down and schedule all my posts for the week so that I'm not a prisoner to my phone or to my computer. So those are my eight tips. I hope you enjoyed those. Please let me know which one was your favorite and let me know which ones you're going to try. If you have any tips on how to get your followers uh, engaging with you more often or more frequently, I'd love to hear those in the comment section. My name is Christine Hall. I'm the online business manager and trainer with Christine Hall and Associates. We help small business owners with social media, administrative, and technical tasks. If you need some help and you're not sure if we can assist you, give me a call and we can chat over coffee if we're near each other or we can do a Zoom call, have coffee, <laughs> and chat about what your needs are. Take care, everyone. Have a great day and happy engaging.